Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming back and joining Anomaly. I appreciate you all coming. I hope that everything's been good since the last time we was able to join this table. We back here at it and let's drop some action. Um, let's see who we're going to pull for today. Number four. Aries. All right. So we're going to be reading. I'm going to be reading for Aries. It's my first read of the day. This is just um, what I ask is that spirit help guide me through these readings. Please allow me to deliver the message that it is that you have um, ready for the collective of the Aries in 2023. We're coming into the end of the April season and started going to May. Shout out to Tauruses. So any of you with uh, Aries or Taurus, highly aspected. Shout out to you. You're in a winning season for your time. Um, everything is going to be intuitive today. And we're going to try to keep it pretty short. 111 on the clock. Spirit, please tell me anything. Any and all things, whichever is most important for the Aries collective, please. Ooh. Okay. Give me a second to kind of, I mean, I like it. It's like, it's almost giving stone cold face. It's like, I know exactly, you know, but I want to say what I'm talking about, what's in my mind. It's like the, 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 if this was hair or flames, that's there. But then there's a plethora of of color and knowledge and wonder and, and strands and stars and different things. Something that's very mysterious. So some of you could be very mysterious. Blue could be highly significant for you. The number four can also be significant. And right beneath this is the angel wings, as you can see here. So it's a little hard to see because of the lighting. But it's almost as if like this could be your third eye. This could be your highest self coming into tune, into tune and knowing. Give me one star starseed elemental. How cool. Sometimes adulting can become too serious when this happens. Adding curiosity, fun, laughter, and a lighthearted sense of play to our perspective can be the most effective way to rebalance. Facing challenging circumstances with inquisitiveness can bring joy to whatever we are accomplishing. Imagine stepping into a child's shoes and seeing how they perceive the world. If you have a problem, consider how a child might solve it. Humans are evolving and children can be our wisest teachers. May we nourish this their big souls, listen to them with our hearts, and let their ways unveil fresh new eyes so we may see a whole new world. And that's dope with this card um, because at the end of the day, like I said, those colors back there, even if you look at it, it kind of reminds you of puzzle pieces coming together. And if we even go on based off of the cards on the back, when you look at things from a logical, let's say, yeah, logical and illogical perspective, um, if I'm using the right words. Why be so serious all the time? See, when you're serious and you, you live in your life every day and going, you know, walking your path and doing what you're doing each and every day, you know, you're still going through your same life advances, life struggles. And it would be essentially the same thing if you were... Being in that childlike energy, that inner child, you know, having fun. And maybe that's the key to some secrets or some deep, dark, you know, situations that you need answers to. It's about you going within. Some of you may be coming into contact with children who might show you some type of enlightenment. Um, you know what I'm saying? In this upcoming season. Um, it could also be, though, that, again, you are in this childlike energy where you are you know, um, coming into understanding a lot because maybe you're taking that time to go back and visit the past you, the previous you, the you who was young and just free and fun and still learning. All right. 453. This is for my Aries spirit. 
We have the star seed elemental. Please tell us what you would like for the Aries to know. Please keep this reading protected, spirit. Allow no interferences or blockages to come through. Right now I'm burning dragon's blood, incense, and I had a white sage incense burning, but that thing gone. And um, then I also did a sandalwood um, cone right here, the one that is basically a cone of ash. And then this cone over here is supposed to be this really cool brand that I got that wasn't too expensive, but the package is really nice. And it's supposed to be Dragon's Blood as well. All right, one more card, Spirit. Okay. So before I flip the deck right now, what we have um, is the, yeah, you can see it. It's the Eight of Cups. Um, this card came out face down, so I left it. So it's like a little bit of a wild mystery card. And then we have the Empress up top. Below, we have a Four of Cups, um, some type of cup being offered or you offering a cup. Somebody feeling like they made the right choice or the right stance with victory. Um, but this could also be them walking into this chaos with the Five of Wands or their victory is someone being in chaos. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool. So somebody is taking a leap. Somebody's taking a jump out there. Somebody's going in a new direction, Aries. Okay. So somebody's walking away. Um, it looks like even though they're walking away with this Eight of Cups, this could be somebody at a distance. You could be at a distance. Whomever is walking away is walking away with all that they can fit in their hand almost. All that they can carry on their back. Five of Pentacles. They're walking away with essentially probably not even as much as they came into the situation with, but they're still going. What's wonderful about it, though, is either you are this empress or you're coming into this empress mode, this empress energy or an empress 3D person, someone who is in that energy. Um, this could be, too, that with the two people on this five of pentacles, you, someone who's far away, which could be you or the other person or this empress, which, again, can be you, Aries, or the other person. This is just the energy. But y'all both could be essentially walking your own path by yourself, have been left out in the cold and whatnot with the five of pentacles upright and still going. The four of cups is something being offered, but it looks like this, either this offer or a person walking away from this offer with the six of wands. Again, like I said, it can be chaotic for someone else. It can be chaotic for you. So what's being walked away from with this eight of cups spirit? you're walking away from connections with the two of cups to try to pop out all right it's the ten of pentacles some of you might be walking away from a family dynamic that um you know it, it that it, a family dynamic some of you could it's not that you're walking away from this because this ten of of cups, it can be a fulfillment, but this also this also could be a some type of ending here. But in this scenario, the ten of cups can also be your spiritual team assisting you on this path or this journey that you're taking. As this eight of cups on the bottom of the deck is the sun, the four of wands, and the ace of wands. So with the sun, oops, sorry. There's some type of clarity that's being gained through um, meditation, prayer, um, speaking with your guides and whatnot. And I think that is 
this meditation could also come like you might be a smoker, maybe, you know, someone who smokes and gets their clarity or their understanding. This could also be you as you gain this clarity and understanding or knowing that the situation that you're seeking advice on, it could lead to you being pregnant, maybe having a child. Maybe you're choosing to be abstinent and remain from having sex. The world card is behind the ace of wands. Excuse me. All right. Why is the five of pentacles here, spirit? The five of pentacles is here because of the high priestess. So either you or you you said this or some, some of you could be... Um, magicians yourself you can be high priestess yourself and have your own mystic talents but somewhere in here somebody this was spoken about whether it was that you heard this through tarot online you read your own tarot or it just you know somebody is just that wise enough to know but someone has spoken about you possibly be in this predicament where you were going to be on your own where there wasn't going to be any help in the situation for you Clarity on the bottom of the deck with the sun again. The Empress. What, we, what do we need to know about this Empress? So uh, she works hard and she holds back. So she's got boundaries up. She's working hard. She's holding back. The Seven of Swords. And she's running. She's, she's getting out of Dodge. This Empress is getting out the way from... You know, people, places, and things that don't serve them. This is a seven of swords here with two swords being left behind. It's almost like here. I'm going to leave you with your thoughts and all those things that you feel. And I'm going to take my thoughts and how I feel or the things that I have to say. And I'm going to go this way. And as this person, this empress, you, Aries, are running with the seven of swords, you're coming into what? This knowledge, this understanding as the high priestess of um, being left out in the cold, you know, um, being stuck, um, not being helped, whether it be financially or, you know, with resources, it's just something that's come out. And as you run in that direction, you start to come into knowledge and understanding with not only yourself, but your spiritual team with the Ten of Cups um, here. On the bottom of the deck is the tower, upright, the eight of wands, upright, and then the knight of wands with the two of wands, I mean, two of pentacles. So it's somebody who's probably juggling you or you've been juggling someone. Um, and this could be someone that you was having like some type of passionate endeavor with, you know, and it just looks like somebody's in for a rude awakening. Some type of tower happens fairly quickly for this individual. And if we're looking at it, which I'm sorry that you can't see, can you now? Boop. If you look at the direction that the knight is running in, it's almost like he's chasing that seven of swords. So some of you could be in a cat and mouse type of situation or a situation where you've been trying to get away from something or someone or even control your mouth in situations and people have been kind of making it hard. What is this offer with the four of cups? This offer is for you to go into calmer waters. Why is this six of wands, this five of wands? Okay, so the cup that's being offered to you is a cup that's supposed to take you to a place of calmness. It's supposed to take you to a place where you aren't in rough patches or rough waters, you know. This can also be that you're turning, you know, you just smooth, like, let me roll, roll, roll my boat gently on down that stream. That person had a cup for me, but I'm going to keep going. You know, it could be something like that. But you, like I said, up here, somebody gets two people down here. There's somebody helping to guide this person. This, this, this adult is here to guide either these two children or this adult and this child here into safe areas and safe zones. So from the seven down to the six of swords. So instead of it being all of this jibber jabber and, and, and issues of calamity, now 
is let's find our way to where we need to go. And as six six could be important to you, six of swords, six of wands, as the six of wands sitting here, the six of wands and the five of wands is clarified by the page of pentacles. The page of pentacles is a fresh new idea, some type of new start endeavor financially. Like you've got something that that you have to offer and that you have to give. But once you do this, your offering or what it is that you have to um, show, you know, to the world to be who you are, that's going to make some people feel real uneasy in the Five of Wands. Um, on the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Swords, Five Five, the Hierophant, and the Two of Wands. Um, with that being said, and then you have the Death card following suit. I feel like because the Hierophant was here, um, in the middle of this two of wands and this five of swords, you, it, it, by, by law, how do I put it? Supernatural law, magical law, spiritual law, with the hierophant being here. Somewhere in there, you had to take it back to how you've grown up, the things that you've done. You've had to look at whoever these individuals are that these swords are you running off with, with, you know, you done took what they said and you gone. I left you with this, a, a piece in my mind, a quick little brief piece, and now I'm gone. And then down here, these people are in some type of chaos or some type of building could be in chaos too. While you're coming with the six of wands, you could be coming into these people people who are the five of wands they don't know how to work together they don't know how to put the pieces together like a puzzle like i just set up here and maybe it's something fresh about what you have to bring and that could even be that y'all are young as the page y'all could be out here being young and bringing these new developmental ideas but back over here with this two of wands and the hierophant and the five of swords you were told by someone something or by even just taking your mind back to what you know is right for yourself and about a path or you were you were blocked off of a path it looks like spiritually you know somebody dropped down and said hey no no you don't go that way what i need you to do is let them people go over here and then you're going to find the right path that you need to be on. Okay. Why is this Empress running away with the Seven of Swords? The Seven of Cups. Okay, so in this too, though, it's not even that you, like, like, swords. This could be somebody, the empress might be running away with her work. And that's that could be what I mean by words. It's it's her work. And each sword could be something that she speaks on, he, she speaks on, um, you know what I'm saying? What they do with the seven of cups here, these options, like they can orchestrate this. And maybe these swords are other people's voices trying to include their opinions in on you and your options and what you pick and what you choose to do and how you want to live your life and what decisions you, you know, feel are best. And instead of even dealing with that, you just like, look, I'm not about to even tell you much. I'm going to let you stand there and think that you know what you're talking about when it comes to this. This ain't nothing but smoke and mirrors for you because it's not your business. But what I am going to do is take my thoughts and take my hard earned work and take my creative self on this way and go take it where it's, it's, it's going to be needed, where it's going to be appreciated. The food is on the bottom of the deck. We hit 19 minutes. I want to throw y'all a quick Buddha card for just some advice. So I'm hearing that basically y'all are walking away from some things or away and you got 10 and eight cups here 18 cups you know you have a lot of overwhelming love so even though you walk alone your spiritual team is still here with you with this 10 of cups you walking alone you might be walking by yourself one day end up on the road with someone else walking the same path as you Someone who got left out there. Someone who got stuck in the cold. Someone who all invitations were rescinded. Why? Because they were the high priestess just like you, Aries. And because you had insight. You had knowledge. You had a direct connection with the Ten of Cups with your spiritual team. Not only that, 
while you walk this path as well as others around the world with that high priestess card. I'm sorry, that's what I feel. You are also empresses. You can, this is just the energy. So some of you can be, most of you could be acting in your, your feminine, um, your divine feminine energy and taking your cups with you, um, taking those words with you that mean it, you heard them, you saw it. It means nothing because you're the empress. Not to mention again down here, the cup being offered to you. You don't even want it. So it's like, you know, what cups to take, what cups to move past with the Six of Swords. You, you're just going to pretty much deny it and let it go. As you go through with your Six of Swords, not only are you coming through with calm water, you coming through with the extra stick, an extra wand for your structure. And with that extra wand after coming out of the five of wands, that means that you've chosen your stance, maybe how you want to build. Maybe you've been thinking about your life. It's something that you're working on, something that you're being creative about. And then it's the five of wands after that, which is people who may or may not know what they're doing and they need some type of structure. They need some type of organization. They need some type of assistance. This could also be you offering that four cups to them, that assistance, that care, that kindness to help them move forward into calmer waters from whatever is tearing down this this home or this community. All right. But you got a bomb idea coming up with the Page of Pentacles. You have a young, fresh idea that probably plays hugely on you being uh, taking time with your inner child and then being just who you need to be yourself having fun going with the flow for aries be still and loving and fearless for the mind talks and the heart knows don't let your thoughts control you watch yourself awaken yourself be the awakened dreamer who dreams awake the fool card the page of pentacles the high priestess and then not to mention you have all that love from your spiritual team thanks for joining me aries Peace.